Maybe it's easy to just to pretend it was worth it. It was worth it. That is the latest single, Fingerprints, from Auckland-based pop soul musician Jeff Ong. Now, the video was filmed on the streets of Tokyo, but the music was recorded in his very own bedroom right here in New Zealand. Jeff joins us now. Welcome. Yes, welcome, Hi. Jeff. Good to have you on the show. Hey, yeah, thanks before for having we, me. Sorry, that was just my mints dropping out. Before we get started, I must ask you, um, that video, when you're, mm -hmm. you're filming in, in Tokyo on the streets, mm -hmm. singing to yourself as you walk along, did you get yeah. any weird looks? Or I was thinking the, the same thing. stuff happening in Tokyo? I did feel, like, pretty ridiculous doing it. Um, <laughs> like, I was just holding my camera out in front of me like this and like walking around with headphones on but I thought like I figured if I was in Tokyo like nobody is gonna know who I am. Who are you gonna see? They think who's yeah, that yeah. narcissist on us with his camera there but that's fine. <laughs> Don't know anybody. <laughs> exactly and I thought like because there were a lot of people around actually doing it because I was in a, quite a touristy area and there were a lot of like travel bloggers and stuff and they'd oh, yeah. set up cameras on their tripods and they're like, oh, yeah. hey, I'm here in Tokyo, <laughs> like this is great. And I was like, okay, if they can do so it and like, yeah. Jeff just blended in by the sound yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, he yeah. was like, yeah, here you go, I've yeah. got my phone. Um, tell us a bit more about you, yourself, Jeff. So obviously you're based here in Auckland, mm -hmm. but tell us a bit about your career. Um, musically? Yeah. Yeah, well, so I started writing songs when I was about 17. Um, just kind of like a for fun thing, really. And I did that for a little while. And then, yeah, so I ended up going over, the, uh, over to the States to, to study, which was like a really unexpected kind of twist. You got a scholarship for that, did you? Yeah, yeah. So a scholarship to Berklee College of Music, which is in Boston. Mm -hmm. um, and that was, yeah, that was a really unexpected sort of like thing to happen. How did you get that? I mean, that's a, that's a really big deal. Yeah. It w um, so my auntie actually studied at Berklee in the 1970s. Um, and she'd always been kind of like encouraging me, like, hey, why don't you, why don't you audition for Berkeley, mm. like all through, like when I was younger and stuff. And I never really thought that it was possible. I was like, oh, no, there's no way. Like mm. the standard over there is just so high. Um, but then one, one year we went over to visit over Christmas. And then she was like, hey, while you're here, like, why don't you just go audition? And I was like, all right, fine. Like, I'm actually here. I may as well just go and like check out the school and like do the audition. Uh, yeah, so I did. Uh, well, so before you started writing music, you're obviously playing an instrument or doing music theory. So what did you audition with for the for the mm. scholarship? So I um, I auditioned with my voice. So I'm a oh, okay. Yeah, so What's my your instrument. <laughs> yeah, so my principal instrument there was voice. Nice. Um, what did you sing? I sang an original song uh, called September, and um, it yeah, it was yeah, it worked really um, to my surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're so humble. <laughs> I love it. Okay, cool. And you've got your own studio at home. I guess making music nowadays and getting it out to the world is a lot easier than it used to be. Mm -hmm. um, what's been the benefit of having that studio in your, in your room? I guess just being able to experiment with new sounds. Um, because when you have a, you know, if you're in a traditional studio setting, you're kind of on the clock. You, mm. you, know, you book it for a certain amount of time and you maybe don't have as much scope to experiment because you're Fun. kind of there and you need to do it, you know, within that certain time. Yeah, you're paying somebody else. You need to make sure you use that time effectively. So yeah. what sort of what sort of gear do you need? Um, well, I've got a very basic kind of setup at home. I've just got a couple of like nice monitor speakers, a laptop, um, nice microphone, and like a little interface to get all the sound into the computer. And that's about it, really. So you're just, you're just quietly doing this in New Zealand, but then you go on a 12-day tour of the East Coast in the USA. So tell us more about that. How was that for you? Oh, yeah. That, so that was really an amazing experience. Um, so that was while I was living over there. Right. And um, so I had this idea. So a couple of friends of mine, um, Sally Rose and Noah Lubert, so they're still living over there. They're originally from the States. And um, all three of us are kind of singer-songwriters, and all three of us play a few different instruments. So we're like, what if we go on a tour and we like each function as each other's backing band? So like we kind of all rotated on lead vocals and rotated on drums and bass and guitar and that sort of thing. And it was, yeah, it was an amazing, amazing experience. You are phenomenal. super talented. Um, but not only music, because that's not your only passion, is it? You're into filmmaking and photography as well. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> so, so you can create all your own music in your bedroom mm -hmm. and then you can go out and make your videos for it as well. Yeah, it's... it's um, it's quite handy, I think, because there's a lot of people in the 
I guess in the creative world and in just the general overall world. And I think we kind of fall on this spectrum of like specialists or generalists, you know, and there's some people I know who just want to get really deep dive into one thing and just get amazing at that thing. Like meat slaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like meat slaps, yeah. yeah. Interesting, wasn't it? And are you linked with, uh, did I read somewhere you're linked with Igloo Music in LA? Yeah, so um, one of my friends from Berkeley actually works there now as a recording engineer. And um, so we're still in touch. And um, so I was like sending songs back and forth and he was like, man, I really like, like dig this song. Do you mind if I like do some work on it? And I was like, I really don't mind even a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Go for your life. Right, yeah, get in there. So what's next for you? Mm. Uh, so what's next? Probably in the next couple of months or so, I'm going to be releasing a new single, um, a follow up to this one. And um, I think early 2019, there'll be an EP coming out. Awesome. Hey, it's oh been an absolute yeah. pleasure chatting with you. Thank you so Thanks much for having stuff. me. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Jeff's latest single, Fingerprints, is available now and you can check out more of his music on his website.